In this video, we're going to cover the interface of LightWave 3D layout. The menus of LightWave are grouped by the tabs across the top of the interface. They're grouped according to similar function and are shown on the left side of the interface. The upper left group of the menu is persistent. It does not change regardless of what tab you are in. Tool buttons highlight when active. Mode buttons stay highlighted to indicate what mode you are in. Buttons also have their keyboard shortcut on them. A caret is a control key, the plus sign is shift, and the asterisk is the alt key. An arrow pointing downward on any button indicates that it is a menu and that more options will appear when left clicked and held. The main view is a viewport. The navigation's control for the viewport in its upper right corner. Beside the navigational controls is a control panel for VPR, the interactive renderer. The last button to mention here is the modeler button. With the hub running you can launch modeler from this button and have the object you have selected automatically loaded into modeler. The viewport's type is shown on this label. You can choose different views from its drop down menu. Beside that control is the style menu for the viewport. You can choose from a variety of styles from its menu. There's another menu beside the view style. See the documentation for more on these, but of importance is the option for changing how many views you have and their layout from this menu here. In the viewport you have icons for a light and for the camera. Clicking on them with your left mouse button will select them. Across the bottom of the interface is the timeline. This shows you where keyframes are for your items. On the far left corner is the values for either move, rotate, or scale. You can type into the boxes here for ease of setting values. The XYZ and HPB are buttons. If they are highlighted, they are active. Clicking on them once will lock them from being able to be controlled by a click in the viewport. Your currently selected item is shown here, and across the very bottom are buttons for choosing what type of objects you're selecting, be it objects, bones, lights, or cameras. Here you have your properties menu for your currently selected item, and here you have how many objects you have currently selected as indicated. This is your control for auto key and for creating and deleting keyframes. The controls in the lower right are the playback controls. Please see the documentation for more information on specific tools.